Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Let's go. So finally, we can have a Greek celebration with Angie K because God forbid if we forget that she is of Greek descendants, right? Um, but she sent an Easter bunny around and I am terrified of mascots. So that scene with Heather in the backseat of her car, that would have been a wrap for me. I think I would have been off the show. That was scary. So Whitney and Justin are going on a date night. Um, you know, Justin has gone back to work. Whitney is a little aggravated about that. She said that she got up the other morning. Um, she had to make the bacon. She had to handle the dog and get the kids fed. And Justin's on the couch looking at Instagram. And Justin said he's very overwhelmed now that he's gone back to work. Sir, you can do two things at one time. You can flip the bacon. So now Justin is like that he would like for Whitney to initiate more in the bedroom. She was like, you don't communicate with me. You don't talk with me. We don't talk about anything. I'm not initiating that and I'm not going to initiate the bang bang. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to communicate in order to get us to where we need to be. And communicate often throughout the day, sir. And then it seems like to me when Justin and Whitney are not good, what bothers her the most is he does not wear his wedding ring. She was like, basically, how can I really initiate anything when the smallest thing you can't even do? Why do guys do that? Like, why do you take your wedding band off for whatever? You mad at me? What? Why is your ring off, Justin? Like, why did you do that? So Lisa and Angie K go into a candle shop, right, to have a conversation. And there's a girl that's working in there that recognized Lisa as um, her son's mother. So when she asks that and Lisa says yes, Lisa immediately goes to the point where Jack is going on a mission. Like, why are you even having this conversation? Lisa has a problem with Jack going on a mission. And I would too. My baby just leaving to go door to door to sell Latter-day Saints booklets. Sir, you got to go to school. So then Angie K is talking about her Easter party. She says she's invited all the girls and immediately she says Monica. Lisa doesn't like Monica, right? So Lisa is telling Angie K all the things and the reasons that she should not invite Monica. Just because she doesn't like her. Because Monica holds her feet to the fire and Lisa doesn't like that. Now Angie K's simple mind is trying to figure out, oh, well, maybe she did do something to me. I can't with Angie K. And like I said, Whitney is the one who got Monica to tell Angie K about her husband. So Lisa brings this back up. And now Angie K is like, well, maybe, you know, she was wrong. Because she was saying, she was so wrong for saying that about your husband. She said it to Angie K. She didn't even say it to you. Lisa Barlow is a mess. Now, this marriage situation with her son... I didn't like that at all. I thought that was so disrespectful. So Mary has been hearing the word on the curb is that her son is married. So she asked him and his response is, I don't know. Because you're saying that to your mother because it's wrong for you not to tell her that you're married to the girl that's living in her house in another side of the house. She says she knew that something was going on one day because they were so dressed up and they literally was running out of the house like they was running for their life, right? So then he finally says, yes, we're married. And they've been married a year. That is crazy. And I'm with Mary. He's not ready to be married. The way he was laid up on Mary's couch, let me know that he is not working a real job. And I don't blame Mary. I'm not about to sit here and take care of you and your wife. And you didn't even invite me to the courthouse and you made her cry. You got to go in three months, son. You got to go. I'm so glad that Heather had another vision for her children, right? She has her children, like, removed from the Mormon lifestyle. Her daughter is in college in California. She's just come off spring break in Cancun. She's tan. She's had a great time. And then she's talking to her daughter about Jack going on a mission. Jack is Lisa's son. And she was like, maybe I'm living my life through you. But I feel like this, Heather, you need to leave this situation right here alone. If Lisa doesn't talk to you about Jack's mission, this is none of your business. 
Your feelings are caught up because she didn't talk to you about it because you feel like you're the perfect person to talk about, but she doesn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? And she can still be your friend. You just in that business too much and you just making yourself crazy. Stop it. So Meredith right here goes over to Mary's house. Mary is back, the friend to the show. And uh, as soon as she comes in, you know, she asks her what's going on. She tells her that she's found out that her son is married. And Meredith is taken aback. And then they have a really good conversation. Um, Mary is really over these people. Because she was like, I feel like after I was gone, I feel like maybe it was some growth. She said, but they're like wearing the same shoes. Like nobody's changed anything. Nobody's growing. Everybody's still doing crazy stuff. And she says she's tired of it. And Meredith lets her know what the problem was with Angie K about her husband liking other men. And she was like, I wouldn't say anything like that because my son likes other men. I'm on the GLAD committee and I'm going to be in Los Angeles, you know, for this GLAD situation. Because Mary asked her, did you get invited to Angie K's Greek Easter lunch? She was like, no, I'm not going. I'm going to be in LA. And Mary is not going either. She's like, I don't, I'm not going because I don't want to go. I cannot wait to see how she says this to Angie K. Mary's not going because she said Meredith is not going. And she said she wants to be around people with substance, right? And she said, I just don't want to go. And I don't want to go to someone's Easter egg hunt. And I literally do not blame her for not wanting to go at all. So Angie K is setting up for her Easter lunch, right? Like... I was glad to see a lamb outside. Like, they finally found one to sacrifice, right? But what is up with the food on this show? Like, they always have a charcuterie board. And I think Heather had mentioned something about that one time. Like, it never fails. They always eat cheese and nuts and prosciutto. It is insane. But Mary calls Angie and tells her she has to go to Vegas to one of her homes because last year she had some water damage in it. I can't wait until they get to this reunion and they call Mary out on this lie because I can't wait to see what Mary says because I know she's going to say, I just didn't want to come to your little stupid thing. I know she's going to say something crazy. I can't wait for that. So Monica and her mother comes in. I love Monica right down here. I think she's the best thing other than Mary Crosby that has happened to this show. Um, she introduces her mother. Well, Angie K introduces Monica's mother to her father, Angie K's father. And Monica's mother, Linda, immediately says, like, are you single? Like, I'm single. And Monica is embarrassed. This is just the beginning of the embarrassment. Meanwhile, they pan to Meredith, who is on the red carpet for the GLAAD Awards, and she looked great, and I feel like that's where she would want to be, and she's happier there than she would be at Angie Kay's party, because I feel like they would go to blows if she was there. So Lisa's sitting down next to Angie. She's already drilling her about Monica being at the party, like she shouldn't have said that, I can't believe this, so Angie's like, I'm going to talk to her. Then Lisa and Heather have a conversation. Lisa's mad because she feels like Heather hasn't shown her any grace. Heather is mad because Lisa didn't talk to her about Jack going on a mission. I don't think y'all have anything to be mad about. Y'all need to go to your neutral corners and mind your own business. So Angie K's mind is so weak. She has approached Monica and she was like, I don't like the way that you're spreading rumors. And Monica was like, I didn't spread a rumor. I came and I told you. Matter of fact, Monica says she had heard the rumor before Meredith said something like a year ago. She said, but I didn't spread anything. I came and told you. See, because Lisa says she doesn't like Monica, Angie K is trying to make something up to have a problem with Monica. And that's crazy because she did come to you. But Whitney did tell her to come to Angie K. But she didn't spread a rumor. Angie is just weak. P.S. I want Monica's mother off the show. So because she was flirting with Angie's dad, she comes over to Monica talking to her like she's five. Stop it. Well, she's speaking in Portuguese because they're Greek, right? She feels like they're linked together because of the dad. So she's telling her to stop it. Monica's like, I can't believe you. And you need to get the F out of my face. These girls don't like that. Monica has... <laughs> disturbed the whole Easter gathering and she has left and told her mother to get home the best way she can and I think her words were dead ass I enjoyed this episode 
It's your girl Millie Chan, and I'll talk to y'all next week. Bye.